हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दी फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक फ्रिक्शन इन माय चैनल सिविल इंजीनियरिंग फोरम वेयर टुडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग एंगल ऑफ फ्रिक्शन आफ्टर हैविंग अ बेसिक डिस्कशन रिगार्डिंग द टॉपिक फ्रिक्शन सो बेसिकली व्हाट इज एंगल ऑफ फ्रिक्शन एंड व्हाट इज इट इंपॉर्टेंस विल अंडरस्टैंड विद द एग्जांपल ऑफ अ बॉक्स सपोज इफ वी कंसीडर अ बॉक्स लाइंग ऑन अ रफ सरफेस so this is a box and uh, this is a rough surface then uh, obviously the weight acting will be towards the gravity that is downwards and uh, it is abbreviated by w and if we apply a force capital p abbreviating the force external force as p as given over here and w is as weight of the block if we apply the force in this direction then the friction force will be opposite to the applied force or opposite to the external force so here three things become clear that uh, weight will act downwards force will act uh, right hand side and uh, so the frictional force will act on the left hand side as per the discussion carried out earlier that uh, friction force is always opposite to that external force and uh, the fourth component is this normal and which acts perpendicular and opposite to the weight that is normal to the surface so if we consider this rough surface this normal will act 90 degree from it so these are the basic four components where uh, w is the weight of the block n is the normal reaction p is the external force f is the frictional force and uh, what is this resultant of n and f it is shown over here it is the resultant force of this uh, normal force and frictional force if we remove these two force and replace it with another force which is equal to the magnitude and direction of both of this that is known as resultant force and uh, as it is the resultant of uh, normal and frictional force it is shown between both of this and uh, it is abbreviated by r so basically what angle of friction is that is uh, the angle between this normal force and the reaction or sorry resultant of f and n that is resultant of frictional force and normal force so now we'll be able to define the resultant force by the angle between normal reaction and the resultant force is called angle of friction now uh, what will be its importance we'll understand by solving few examples but uh, before that i would like to tell you that uh, with the increase in this frictional force there will be the uh, increase in the angle of friction that is the value of phi will be more or uh, on another way we can say by making the surface rough or if the surface is rough then uh, the angle of friction will be more and uh, vice versa if the angle of uh, sorry rough uh, roughness of the surface is less then angle of friction is also less and it is also called limiting angle of friction so for uh, increasing the efficiency of any machine the angle of friction should be less so this was all about angle of friction uh, wait for the fifth part of this topic and uh, keep watching